Two years ago, I suggested that India and the United States must strive to be ambitious together if the Indian Ocean region was going to reach its full potential. Uh, I stressed the need for multilateral frameworks that focused on like-minded nations uh, building regional capacity to address the challenges uh, that threaten the security and prosperity of the region. Now, I was roundly criticized by some for suggesting that we relook uh, at the quadrilateral format. Last year, I returned and outlined the significant progress that the United States and India had made in our bilateral relationship. While the relationship continues to strengthen, I highlighted that neither side was satisfied with the progress. Uh, I stated that uh, the drive and persistence that we would that share would make the India-US relationship the single most important relationship to the future of both of our countries uh, in the early parts of the 21st century. So in 2016, the key word for the India-US relationship from my perspective was ambitious. In 2017, it was persistence. And now in 2018, for the third Rising Dialogue, uh, let me suggest that that word is courage. Uh, and as I look out to the present security landscape, uh, in the Indian Ocean and in the Indo-Pacific, I believe that 2018 uh, is the year to take courageous action to get things done, to finish those things that we began in 2016, we reinforced in 2017, but we have yet to realize. I think 2018 uh, is that year. We must be willing to make the tough decisions to ensure that the Indo-Pacific uh, a region and the Indian Ocean region specifically remains free, open, and prosperous. This requires like-minded nations uh, to develop the capacity to address the challenges that we face together by leveraging each other's capabilities and realizing that the whole is indeed uh, much greater than the parts. Conventional thinking is often the easiest thing to do, but that doesn't make it the right thing to do. Leadership requires us to lead from an unshakable core of conviction, even if we are unpopular uh, in that. We must be willing to say what we believe to be true and let people decide if our deeds and words reflect our real intentions. This is the legacy of like-minded nations that embrace the free, open, prosperous, and inclusive uh, Indo-Pacific that Admiral Lambda spoke about. 